When I do the rainbow effect on my LED lights, it feels like the episode of SpongeBob where the lights are going crazy and it's like, do, 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 hey, do, 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 right, right? Am I the only one seeing that? Probably. Hey everyone, it's Holly, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my bookshelves, giving you a little bit of a tour so you kind of know what is on my bookshelves because this is really only like a portion of them that you really get to see behind me. So I'm really excited to show you all of the books that I have. <music> So you'll notice that a lot of these I attempted to keep with genres, like we have horror right here, but then we all of a sudden go into random fantasy, paranormal, Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth, No Fit Gloss by Essa Hansen, Home Before Dark by Riley Sager, The Loop by Jeremy Robert Johnson, Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Marino Garcia, The Shadows by Alex North. Here's a signed copy of Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu with the beautiful Target sticker that I did not take off of that one. Ink and Sigil by Kevin Hearn. An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. The Diviners by Libba Bray. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King by Holly Black. The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. And The Trees Crept In by Oh My God It's Haunted by Dawn Kurtigich. The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. We've officially looked at the first shelf, so we're gonna whoop. So I have these three pops. They are actually from the Saga graphic novel series. In this shelf, we have all of the graphic novels, a little bit more, and then this is mostly middle grade, and then we have some random the fantasy, I don't really know. I just kind of threw it on there. Invader Zim, Volume 1. The Archie Comics, we have Volume 1 and Volume 2. Volumes 1, 2, and 3 of the Umbrella Academy, Apocalypse Suite, Dallas, and Hotel Oblivion. I freaking love the Umbrella Academy. Now we have Saga Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and nine, the Five Worlds graphic novel series, The Sand Warrior, Cobalt Prince, and The Red Maze by Mark Siegel and Alexis Siegel, Spill Zone by Scott Westerfeld and Alex Polvilland, The Wizards of Once by Cressida Co... Oh no, it's covered. Oh no, oh, Cowbell, Cow, Cow, <laughs> Coel. Howl. Oh my gosh. Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Eleanor Alice and the Roosevelt Ghosts by Diane K. Salerni. Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foody. Small Spaces by Katherine Arden. Whoa, it's the author of The Bear and the Nightingale. I did not even know that. The Polar Bear Explorers Club by Alex Bell. The second book is Explorers of Witch Mountain. And the third book is Explorers on Black Ice Bridge. And of course I had to go and buy the US edition of the first book, but not the second two. I really wish I would have done the UK cover because look at these two. So much better than that one. North Child by Edith Pateau. Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Coraline by Neil Gaiman. The Halloween Tree by Ray Bradbury. They Threw Us Away by Daniel Krause. The Mutant Mushroom Takeover a, oops, shit, by Summer Rachel Short. Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Now we move on to the next top shelf. So this shelf honestly is a little bit of a reject shelf. The shelf where I didn't know where the heck to put it, so I just kind of threw it here. Of course, we have this pop figure of Pennywise holding the arm. My daughter Athena absolutely hates this, so one day I threw it up there to hide it, and it just kind of stayed up there. And then, of course, we have Captain Cardinal. He is one of my all-time favorite Star Wars characters. I read about him in the book Phasma, and I just love him so much. I'm so excited to own that. Behind the Red Door by Megan Collins. Degrees of Guilt by H.S. Chandler. Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Little Disasters by Sarah Vowen. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Halloween, oh shit. Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. Or is it like Halloween? 
Halloween party. <laughs> the Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Speak by Lori Hals Anderson. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I'm Thinking of Ending Things by A. I. B. E. E. O. E. O. 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 Ian Reed, The Holder's Dominion by Janice Davis, In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware, Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh, Blackbird of the Gallows, and Keeper of the Bees by Meg Castle, All the World by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller, and I wasn't the biggest fan of this book, but how do you get rid of a book that is signed by Jason Siegel? I mean, it was an okay book, but... Yeah, wasn't like my favorite or anything. Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusek. So that sums it up for all of the top three rows of my bookshelf. Now we're gonna go into the next three. We still got a lot to go. This row is kind of like a little bit of fantasy, a little bit of sci-fi, more of the nonsense organization of my books basically. Untamed, Splintered, Unhinged, and Ensnared by A.G. Howard. Look at my really awful way of broadcasting those. The Architect of Song by A.G. Howard. And actually, fun fact, A.G. Howard is one of the first authors I was reading from when I started all of my booktube stuff, so I just have a very special place in my heart for A.G. Howard books. Haven't read this one yet, though. Aurora Rising, Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, The Martian by Andy Ware, Prey by Michael Crichton, Bring Me Their Hearts, Send Me Their Souls, both by Sarah Wolf, All Systems Read by Martha Wells, the Three Body Problem by Six and Lou. The Humans by Matt Haig. The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Anna Dressed in Blood. Girl of Nightmares, both by Kinder Blake. Three Dark Crowns by Kinder Blake. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Now we go into one of the Sander shelves. Elantris, Warbreaker, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Heroes of Ages. The Hero, not Heroes. These like won't come out of this, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and show off this beautiful little find up here that I have. There we go. There's like a good little depiction of what the books look like. Mistborn Era 2, which is the Alloy of Law, Shadows of Self, and the Bands of Mourning. Now we go into the beautiful Stormlight Archive where they all match, and then all of a sudden, pff, I have messed up on that one. You can see my face. The Way of Kings, part one and part two. Words of Radiance, part one and part two. Oathbringer, part one and part two. Look at this. That is so cool. And then this big old boy here, Rhythm of War. So that sums it up for one of my Brandon Sanderson shelves. Going on to what is basically my V.E. Schwab and other random fantasy witchy books, I guess. Actually, one book is witchy, so... Whatever. And I Darken by Kirsten White. The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This Savage Song. Our Dark Duet. The Archived. And City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Snow Like Ashes. Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rosh. Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Ivory and Bone by Julie Eshbao. Cruel Reality. Games of Life and Death by C.J. Whitley. The Companion by Katie Allender. Labyrinth Lost by Zareda Gordova. Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. This was actually, I think, an Owl Crate edition. Look at those beautiful purple sprayed edges. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. So now we start getting into more horror, fantasy. These ones are a little bit more distinct as we go into these rows. And the fun stuff that we have on this shelf is I have these dice. This one says Inej. We have Matthias. We have Wyland, Jesper, and of course, where's Kaz? Oh, there's Kaz. Kaz. So I got these dice from a pre-order of one of the books and I thought these were super cute. I saw that Lee Bardugo ordered this and I could not help myself. I needed to order myself one as well. If you look in here, it says no mourners, no funerals. And then on the other side, there is of course the crow. So, oh my gosh. And then this on like the little tea saucer, it has like a crow and all of that like gold embellishment. This is just like my little special Six of Crows tea set. I am so obsessed with it. It by Stephen King. The Shining Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Caesar. Bent Heavens by Daniel Krauss. Pines, Wayward. In the Last Town by Blake Crouch. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Super crazy story about this one. So this is actually the arc and I got this from BookCon. And I remember my sister just grabbing this off of 
a pile and being like, you need this one. And we had no context to this book at all and it ended up being one of my all time favorites till this day. Recursion by Blake Crouch, Slasher Girls and Monster Boys by a whole entire collection of authors. We have Stefan Bachman, Kinder Blake, Jay Kristoff, Jonathan Mayberry, Carrie Ryan, Nova Rensuma, April Genevieve, Chico. <laughs> oh goodness, uh, Lee Bardugo, A.G. Howard, Marie Lou, Danielle Page, Megan Shepard, McCormick Templeman, and Kat Winters. Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. I met Lee Bardugo for the first and only time at BookCon that same year, and she signed my copy of Shadow and Bone. She wrote to Holly, and then like signed it right there, and then she wrote Make Me Your Villain, which is so amazing. I adore this copy so much. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, King of Scars, and Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Now behold my second Sanderson shelf and then the random other few books that I just needed to fill in the extra space. Scythe. Thunderhead and the Toll by Neil Schusterman, Secret Santa by Andrew Schaefer, The Visitor by Sergio Gomez. Now we get into our Brandon Sanderson books, starting off with Arcanum Unbounded, The Rhythmatist, Skyward, and Starsight. And these are my UK editions of them, which was again another one that I did not look at the dimensions of the books, and that was a whole bunch of oops because I loved these books so much. I ended up getting the US editions of them as well. The Way of Kings, Words of Rage. Radiance, Oathbringer, and Rhythm of War. And this is a signed first edition, so I'm like losing my mind over this. Look at those. And this shelf is basically just my Marissa Meyer and other random stuff as well. And then of course I have this beautiful little fireplace light that my soon-to-be mother-in-law got for me for Christmas. They are already here, UFO Culture and Why We See Saucers by Sarah Scholes, The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw, Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw, The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman, this beautiful copy of Cinder by Marissa Meyer, then you go into the original copies, so we have Cinder in this edition, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter. Winter would not fit with the rest of the books, so I just put this one on its own. That's why it's all lonely on my bookshelf. But this is another honorary mention. If you'll look like deep in the beginning of my booktube days, which please don't, oh gosh, it's awful. But if you go and look, you'll see that Lunar Chronicles was definitely one of my stepping stones into booktube and into bookstagram. It was probably one of the first series that I ever really put on bookstagram before. Fairest, Heartless, Renegades, Arch Enemies, and Supernova, all by Marissa Meyer. The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, the first book in the Wheel of Time series. And the last one on this shelf is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Look at this beast. Oh my gosh. I don't know when I'm going to get to that one, but oh my god, it's so pretty. I could not resist getting my hands on this one. Here we go into my contemporary novels. This one actually has a theme to it. Look at that. All contemporaries. I'm so proud of myself. Anxious People. My grandmother asked me to tell you a... S oh, wait. No, that's not the title. I was gonna say asked you to tell me a story. That's not right. Uh, my grandmother asked me to tell you. She's sorry. Bear Town, All by Frederick Bachman. Maybe Someday. It Ends With Us. Both of those are by Colleen Hoover. Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. The Un Honeymooners by Christina Lauren. In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Love and Gelato. Love and Luck. And Love and Olives, all by Jenna Evans Welch. A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Namey. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. A Taste of Sage by Yaffa S. Santos. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. My True Love Gave to Me. We've got Holly Black, Allie Carter, Matt De La Pena, Gail Foreman, Jenny Hunt. David Levithan, Kelly Link, Mira McIntyre, Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, Lainey Taylor, and Kirsten White are all in here. This is one of the most gorgeous editions ever. I know this was like all the rage back in like 2012 or 2013, whatever year this was. The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. Mrs. Everything by Jennifer Wee Weiner. Weiner, Weiner. Weiner, uh, Weiner. Big Summer by the same author. I'm not gonna butcher her last name again. <laughs> In Five Years by Rebecca Surley. This next one, we just have like a little bit more of my contemporary that didn't fit on the other shelf. And then we have a bunch of like my favorite trilogies. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zeppia. Every Heart a Doorway. Down Among the Sticks and Stones. Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shauna McGuire. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Hollow City. And Library of Souls. A Thousand Pieces of You, Ten Thousand Skies Above You, and A Million Worlds With You by Claudia Gray. 
This is another one that really kickstarted my love for books. I'm pretty sure that A Thousand Pieces of You is actually my highest viewed video on my entire channel, so that is absolutely insane to me. I think it was like my first kick into sci-fi. Of course, Lunar Chronicles as well, but this was kind of in there too. And honestly, these covers will go down as one of the most beautiful covers I've ever seen in my life. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, The Evolution of Mara Dyer, and The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. This is another one that was a staple of my channel. This is one of my all-time favorite trilogies. The Kiss of Deception featuring this really weird neon green like thing, The Heart of Betrayal, and The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. She is another author that I had the honor of meeting and she was the nicest person ever. So yay, I just love looking at these and remembering all the authors that I've met before. It's so difficult right now because we can't really meet anybody and it's such a bummer. I really look forward to going to more book signings. Fable by Adrienne Young. Balcony of Fog by Rich Shapiro. We're getting down to the end, you guys. These are in absolutely no order. This is is honestly one of the most chaos shelves that I have. Migrations by Charlotte McConaughey. The Stars We Steal by Alexa Don. Witches of Ash and Rune by E. Latimer. Ink in the Blood by Kim Smedjkal. A Beginning at the End by Mike Chen. Here and Then and Now, or no, here, whoa. Here and Now and Then by Mike Chen. Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Gillian Flynn. How to Hang a Witch by Adriana Mather. This was my very first arc. Ever. And the second book in this series is called Haunting the Deep. Killing November by Adriana Mather. Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. Hella by David Gerald. Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Moore. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Dorothy Must Die. The Wicked Will Rise by Danielle Page. Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. And Zodiac by Romina Russell. I forgot to mention that Danielle Page is actually another person who I met actually at C2E2, I'm pretty sure. And she wrote Follow Your Brick road and she signed it and oh my god she was so nice as well so now we're going into this bottom row this one should kind of fly by because I'm not gonna take most of these out one by one because this is already getting really long and we all kind of know what the shadow hunter series kind of looks like the mortal instruments which is literally the first booktube series I ever read. I didn't even know that booktube existed. I would literally skip class and I would read these books. It was a problem, but you know what? It brought me to where I am today. Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. A Complicated Love Story Set in Space by Sean David Hutchinson. Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Legend, Prodigy, Champion, all by Marie Lu. Marie Lu is another author that I actually was very fortunate enough to meet. Another Another nice, cute, personalized message with a heart. She's got a really cute signature, actually. The Young Elites, The Rose Society, and The Midnight Star, A Curse of Gold by Annie Sullivan, Ignite the Sun by Hannah C. Howard, The Left-Handed Booksellers of London by Garth Nix. This is an arc that I actually won from a book con giveaway. Like, I don't win giveaways, so... Another monumental moment for me. <laughs> Twin Daggers by Marcy Kate Connolly. We have House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass and all of my other Sarah J. Mass books. Another one of the series that really kickstarted my booktube channel was Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. This is the first trilogy that I think I really felt for the characters. I literally bawled my eyes out and I stayed up all night reading a legion and i just remember that was an insane day for me like i was just so sad and i've never felt that attached to characters before so that was really a new experience for me with reading the ring and the crown by melissa de la cruz the luck series by jennifer l armentrout oops i put these in the wrong order we're just gonna pretend these are swapped with the red queen and glass sword by victoria aviar the harry potter series right here there will come a darkness by katie rose pool the ghost photographer by julie rieger and this this is like a really cool Alice's Adventures in Wonderland little bind up book thing that I didn't even take the packaging off of. This was from my fiance Ben, which is super cute. Like it's got this hardcover edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. There's like this little scroll here and a metal bookmark with a pin. It is just a really cute little collection book. I'm just super obsessed with that. Oh my gosh, the back, it's adorable. I have these beautiful editions of this one right here, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and it's just got all these illustrations. And then we have Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales collection with all of these beautiful illustrations. These are just so 
fun to own, even though I've never even read them yet because I'm an idiot. Warren the 13th and this all seeing eye written by Tanya Del Rio and illustrated by Will Staley. You thought that was it for the Brandon Sanderson, huh? Nope, because I also have Dark One by Brandon Sanderson, which is a graphic novel. The Sleeper in the Spindle by Neil Gaiman and illustrated by Chris Riddle. Whites of Terror by Cuddles and Rage. Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. Dig by A.S. King. Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Opium and Absinthe by Lydia Kang. The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayliss. Six Wakes by Murr Lafferty. Five Total Strangers by Natalie D. Richards. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. The Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Oasis by Katya de Becerra. The Space Between by Brenna Yovanoff. Runaway, a Fashion Week Space Adventure by P.A. Lopez. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. That we also have this little bookshelf here with basically just some extra things we got. So I actually do have a beauty channel where I started to recreate soda cans, like Mountain Dew cans and stuff, and I kind of stopped doing that at the moment. I'm just too busy, so that's why I have all those because I want to recreate those looks. Then I have a random, really adorable like pumpkin dude to the candy corn. So on the first shelf, I just have random like candles and earrings and stuff. And then I also have this re candle from Book and Nook. I love it so much. It smells so good. Then I have all of my bookmarks I put here on this special shelf. Like a long time ago I got these I think from Owl Crate. I never got to use them yet. They're so cute. And then on this shelf we have Joyland by Stephen King which I forgot that I even own. The Elf Stones of Shannara by Terry Brooks. I was really into the Shannara Chronicles show when that came out and I never got around to reading the books though. Then of course we have Lord of the Rings. So we have The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. I have a German-English dictionary because I used to be in so many German clubs. And then I have this really cute Animal Crossing bag that my fiance got me. This is just randomly like some camera stuff and like my more witchy books and like this crystal book. And this is actually a book from my grandma. I don't know why it's like on here as well. But then I also have this really adorable mug rug that I got from my read it and eat subscription box. So adorable. We go onto this shelf and I love this shelf so much because these are actually, it's not all these, these Agatha Christie's are actually um, something that I bought. So I got Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie and then I also got, and then there were none. And of course, anxiety and panic attacks. Um, yeah, because necessary. But these books in particular, these are all books that my grandma gave to me after she found out that I was like a major reader and starting my booktube channel. So I really just want to get to reading these one day. Like these just look like so much fun. Who would have known? Like if you knew my grandma, you'd be like shocked that she was really into thrillers. Like that just makes me laugh. I love it so much. I really wish she was still here today so I could read these and talk to her with them. But either way, when I read them, I'll kind of feel like she's there with me a little bit. Then going onto this shelf, we have all of these True Blood books that my sister actually gifted to me a long time ago, the Sookie Stackhouse series. I was a huge fan of True Blood and my sister was actually the one who got me into it. So these are out of order, I just realized. I'm pretty sure that's like the second book, but whatever. These covers are seriously so fantastic. The Bone Collector, I actually won this from a Goodreads giveaway, so no idea that I would ever actually win one of those. Lemon, A Global History by Toby Sonman. This was the book that I got in my Read It and Eat subscription box. The Soul of an Octopus by Cy Montgomery. And then I have this super cute moon and crystal over here. That's just like boring random pens in a random cup, so we'll just move on past that. Then we have all these graphic novels and like a notebook and stuff. Then we also have 30 Days of Night. These are terrifying looking. I just need to like pull them out. I think these were like the first graphic novels I ever really owned. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The movie doesn't even do justice on that, honestly. And the last section we have here is this like Amanda Hawking and this Rick Riordan section. So I have like the Percy Jackson books. These are all like mermaid books right here. This is the Trill trilogy and this is like the companion trilogy to 
the Trill trilogy. That's kind of like my extra little shelf that nobody ever really gets to see back in the corner of my room. Then you go into like my messy corner. Like, look at this. I had no time to clean and the kids were super messy. So I have their shelf over there of kids books and then I have extra arcs over there as well as just like more scattered kids books and stuff. And then makeup section. That's a lot of makeup. So we cram it all into like one big room basically. So that concludes my bookshelf tour. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. This is probably the longest video I've ever filmed so far. And my camera died halfway through, but we got through. Here we are. Now you kind of know a little bit more about what my shelves look like, apart from just this little window you get to see behind me. Comment down below which books stood out the most to you, or just any random thoughts that you have. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to like this video, and also make sure to subscribe if you want to see more bookish content from me. And I will see you again soon. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you eating? It smells stinky. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi.